What is going on today, guys? Check it out. Today, I am going to be starting an eBay store. This is something I've thought about and I've wanted to do for quite a while now. And you guys have been asking for years. I've been magnet fishing for like five years now, and I have found so much cool stuff. Now, a lot of the stuff that I find magnet fishing, I actually keep for myself. And I actually just started hanging some of it on the walls finally, now that I moved into the farm. And as you can tell, it's starting to look super cool in here. I have tons of stuff. I got buckets full, boxes full. Now, in today's video, we're only going to be listing a couple things on eBay just to get started. But if you guys would like to check out my eBay store, I will leave that link down in the description. And and I'll leave it up on the screen here to make it even easier. My eBay store is called The Fisher Magnet Fishing. I think first of all, we're gonna list a fishing lure. Then we're gonna list 10 railroad spikes. And then I'm gonna list a horseshoe. And we're just gonna see what happens. I'm actually gonna take you guys through the entire process with me. So first things first, you guys, we gotta get a couple pictures of these railroad spikes and this fishing lure that we're gonna list on eBay. All right, you guys, now we got a couple pictures. Now we're gonna go inside and I'm actually gonna screen record my phone and I'm gonna take you guys through the process of actually listing something on my eBay store. So let's go. Check it out, you guys. We have tons of fishing lures here. Just the other day, me and Owen spent about two hours untangling all of these. There's so many in here, you guys. If I counted correctly, I believe there's somewhere right around 160. And this is not even even all of them. I have tons of them in tackle boxes yet, and these all need to be cleaned and they all need new hooks. But once we get them cleaned up and scrubbed up, they actually don't look too bad. I'm not going to go through any of the trouble of trying to repaint these things. They are what they are. But I am going to be able to sell these for way cheaper than you could get them at the store. And they still work. Check it out, you guys. Owen just finished cleaning up some of the smaller rip and wraps here. Now we're gonna be putting some of the big rip and wraps in there. I'm gonna put all this in there. Look at that water. Ew, it's black, dude. Move your hand once. Yeah, look at that, you guys. That water is pitch black. This thing was completely covered in mud, and now it shines. All we got to do is throw some new hooks on here, and then we're going to list this thing on eBay. Now, check it out. I got a big old container here of brand new hooks, tons of different sized hooks in here, and we even got like some extra hardware in case we need it. So we're going to throw some new hooks on this thing, and let's get it listed. Boom. One hook on there, and I actually think that is like the perfect size. Bam! Just like that, you guys, we have basically a brand new fishing lure. Now for the next step, we're gonna list this thing on eBay. So first thing is first here, you guys, we have to give our post a title. Now we have to give our fishing lure a description. It looks like eBay has some kind of cool AI feature where it automatically writes the description for you based on the title, I would assume. So we're just gonna go ahead and AI generate this description. And then I'm just gonna add on at the bottom something about how I found this magnet fishing. Now it's time to set the starting auction price. We're gonna list this fishing lure here at $5. Now it's time to add some photos to our listing. Now obviously for a fishing lure like this, I'm only gonna have so many options for pictures, but normally you wanna take as many pictures as possible. And that is it. Our fishing lure is officially listed on my eBay store. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna list 10 railroad spikes today. Now it's time to list our 10 railroad spikes.
Now here we basically just repeat the same process as we did with the fishing lure. We're gonna add our photos. Now we need to write our item description for the railroad spikes. And we're just gonna do the same thing that we did with the fishing lure. I'm gonna use the AI description and then right at the bottom, I'm just gonna make a note that I found these while I was magnet fishing. Now it's time to set the starting auction price eBay actually gives me a recommended starting price of $17.86. I'm actually gonna lower that to only $10. Last but not least, we are gonna list this horseshoe. Well, there you guys have it. I got a couple things listed on eBay and now I have an eBay store. So if you guys are ever watching any of my videos and you would ever like to see something get posted on the eBay store, make sure to let me know down in the comments. If you guys would like to see me put some more stuff on eBay, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next